Hey, my blessings. <clears throat> what time is it? At like 8.58 right now. Um, at school was Tuesday at my school. I got to change my, put on my shirt. Mm. Class starts around 9 o'clock, but I'm right in front of the school, so. I'm not rushing to go in right now. I was just having a stressed out morning, you guys. And as I was driving, I was driving and praying and praying and, you know, had the music going at one point. Then I turned off the music, you know, because I was just so annoyed and aggravated with my morning. So I just had to, you know, meditate and, 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 and pray. Because it's a horrible feeling when you just feel stressed and I can't even think of the word. I'm just like aggravated and, you know, so much weight is on these big shoulders of mine. You know, I started going to the gym. I went to the gym yesterday. I know I brought you guys to the gym with me, but, um. I didn't finish it out, you know? I said I was gonna get back on, I went to the gym, and you know, then I went home, and then I had to do some homework, and I didn't complete a test, so I had to complete a test that I had to do. No, I did that last night, because I had to bring the kids to karate, so when I got back, I completed the test that I had to do. But I was just like, you know, so busy, I didn't pick up the camera, and I apologize, my blessings for that. Um, you know, I didn't really feel like picking up the camera now, but I'm like, you know, I just wanted to get it out and I wanted to talk to you guys and I just wanted you guys to kind of make me feel better. You know, the boys stress me out, you know, constantly have to, having to repeat myself. It's like <sighs> Groundhog Day every single day. Look at that. You can see my grays. I want to take this hair out and just do my natural hair. I keep changing my hair. One time, a couple of days ago, I had it curly and pink, and I got tired of that, and I just, you know, paid to get it done, and I had it on for a couple of days, took that out. Then I was like, I wanted my, you know, then I got a wig, and now I'm ready to take this out. I'm just going through so many changes, and I say I want to do my hair and color it, and I'm just going through so many changes. I'm just irritable, I guess. I don't know what it is. And I think, you know, oh, it's my hair. I need to change or something. But I don't know what it is. I'm just feeling down. I'm trying not to, guys. You know, <clears throat> trying to just be a beat. You know, I woke up this morning, which was half the battle. I'm up. You know, I was able to eat a, a breakfast from McDonald's. I was able to do that. You know, most people would not be able to do that. I got roof over my head. I got so many things to be thankful for, so many blessings. And I have to train myself to look at the positive things in my life and not the negative. You know, because I've been known to just always look at the negative things. And this is happening and woe is me and... Uh, the boys are hard, but it's like, I've been through so much with these boys in the last 13 years, a lot. You know, I have plenty of stories to tell. I could even possibly write a book with all the things that I had to go through, the trials and tribulations, you know? I could write a book, because it's been a lot, and I think that's what it is. It's just having to deal with that, you know? And, you know, I don't want to put anything on their father because it just is what it is. I got to let that, that part of my life, I got to let that go and move on. You know, move on meaning all the anger and the aggravation and the hurt. I got to let that go. And I have. I kind of have. But still... You know, sometimes it does seep in, you know, the aggravation and anger and 
him not dealing with his kids the way he should and being a part of their lives like he shouldn't. Like I said, it is what it is. So, yeah, I know it's about 9 o'clock now and I got to get off my rump and get into this school building. Do I really want to go inside? Hell no. Look at my grades. I got to dye my hair. This is ridiculous. The grades, the stress, all this weight gain, cortisol or whatever, because of my stress and aggravation. I've never been my, this weight before. I've never been this heavy. I've always been able to, you know, keep abreast of my weight. But now all of a sudden, I just can't. So that's why, you know, I went to the gym yesterday and I'm going again today, uh, you know, after school, you know, when I hit the gym and just keep at it, keep at the gym, keep at with my people, my blessings, my YouTube channel, keep up with the positive things in life, school and finally graduate next year. You know, I got about what, four more classes it's aggravating because I feel like they keep adding classes and adding classes. You know, every time I feel like I, 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 I'm I forward, I, I go back. But I, I, I know I, I have to do it. I know that I want to do it because I know next year this time, I want to walk the stage. That's my biggest thing. I want to walk the stage. I want to cap and gown. You know, I thought it was going to happen this year. If I wouldn't have taken the break, I did that one semester break, I probably would have, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Like I said, I can't dwell on the negative, and doing that, that's doing exactly that. Dwelling on the negative instead of the positive, that it's only four classes and about two semesters, or if I wanted to bunker down and just do it all in one semester, I could, but I'm, I'm not going to do that because either way, I'm still graduating 2023 <laughs> you know so it's not gonna make that go any faster the only thing is I'll just be finished it sooner which I kind of do because I'm just so tired of school and assignments and projects and things I just want to get it over with and get my associates already but you know I know I look at this video later on and you know next year and I'll be happy that I still went and still kept it going because I know next year this time I'll be upset that I didn't and I look at the video and be upset and say you know if I would have just kept at it and kept at it I just do it and I just don't think about it like my homework assignments like the assignment is not due until I think Thursday but I still kicked it into gear and I worked on it yesterday and got part of it done yesterday and then the next part I get it done either today or tomorrow you know, I just want to get it over with. It's one class, so get it done. Uh, I'll be done with this class July 18. So it's only a couple weeks, not months. I'll be done with this class. And then August, September, I think sometime, then I'll, you know, do it all over again. But let me get off this thing because I got to go inside. My class started at 9, and I know I'm late. But... I just wanted to reach out to my blessings, say I love you, and, you know, let you know what's going on in my, uh, you know, in my head, in my heart, in my mind, what I'm going through day to day. But um, I'll pick you up when I get out of school, or if I don't pick you up when I get out of school, I'll pick you up before I go to the gym so you can see me going to the gym and you guys holding me accountable. I want to keep it going because I always have a problem with, um, oh God, why can't I, every time I get on with you guys and start talking to you, I always get nervous. I can't remember words, <laughs> you know, but, you know, constantly keep going and going. I always have a problem with that. So I, I want to keep going, but let me let you go and get inside. Have a good day, guys. Have a good morning. I love you. My blessings.